Green by Capsule. Renal Capsule. Okay. And then this inner part is called. Okay, and then this is with the blue one. Renal vein. Right, renal vein, and then renal arteries. Okay, good. And then from the renal artery, it branches off into what first? Segmental. Right, segmental arteries, and then it goes to what? Interlobar. Right, interlobar, and then interlobar goes into arcuate, and then arcuate goes into. Right, interlobular. And then interlobular goes to? Right, glomerulus. See, she knows. She just ask her. Have her do this model. No, my will continue. And it's basically the same for the veins, so. Except for the glomerulus thing. Okay, so. The renal, in, in the veins, okay, this is the renal vein. Well, actually, technically, it'd be going backwards, because it's going back to the heart. So if we start from there, you're going to have interlobular veins, uh, then into the arcuate veins, and then into interlobar veins, into segmental veins, and then into the renal vein, and then out, back to the body, back to the heart. Just kidding. Uh, well, when you eat, yeah. well, when you eat something, it's going to go to your intestines, and then basically the intestines are going to absorb all the nutrients, and that actually gets all funneled into the hepatic portal vein, and then the hepatic portal vein has to go through the liver and basically detox, uh, detoxify whatever's in there, and then uh, it goes from there. And then after the liver, it goes to the kidneys? After the liver, well, um, not exactly, but it sort of distributes the nutrients from the paddock portal vein. How, how, how do we get things from the kidneys? From the kidneys? Well, basically, you're just going to have uh, your waste and your toxins in the blood. And then through this, because all the all the toxins and all the waste are going to come through the renal, the renal artery, and they're going to get filtered, and the glomerulus, and so forth. Um, okay, I guess we can go through that whole circulation thingy with the urine, and it starts in the glomerulus, and it goes to this structure. What is that? Big. Oh, the loop penalty is that part. But what's the part before it? Right, the co proximal convoluted tubule. <laughs> proximal convoluted tubule, and then it goes into the loop penalty, right? You have a descending part, and then the ascending part, and then this over here. Right, the DCT, the distal convoluted tubule, and then from from the distal convoluted tubule, you enter this long orange thing. Right, the collecting duct, and then the collecting duct goes to what other duct? It's another duct, the papillary duct. And then from the papillary duct, right, it empties into the renal papilla. And then the renal papilla, you're going to have these guys, where are these? Right, the minor calyx, and then a bunch of minor calyces make up what? The major Right, the major. And then a bunch of the majors make up right, the renal pelvis, and then to the, uh, the ureter. And that's pretty much it. I'm learning, I'm learning. Um, what are these things that are radiating out like that? Pyramids. Right, the pyramids, the renal pyramids. It's only 2.30? Yeah, isn't this painful? It is painful. You'll make it a mirror. We'll have a mirror do the next model.